The 19th annual Take Back the Night March rolled through Opelousas this evening. The annual march encourages the community to take action against sexual assault. Statistics from Opelousas police show there have been four sexual violence offenses reported in the city so far this year. There have been two reports of rape and sexual battery, one third degree rape, and one misdemeanor sexual battery. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with residents about why they took part in the Take the Night Back March this year. Walking the half mile from Opelousas Junior High to the St. Landry Parish Courthouse, the people walking in this march say they want to end sexual violence. Every year in April, we come out and just let the individuals know that no means no. No matter whether it's emotional, sexual, physical, whatever type of abuse. Then we're here to support you. We're here to give you resources to let you know it's okay to say no. As April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, the St. Landry Evangel and Sexual Assault Center hosts their annual March Against Sexual Violence around this time. Dozens of people, including social workers and community organizations, rally together to march. Sexual violence is um, really attacking our community, our youth, um, the adults that are, and they feel like they have nowhere to turn. So it's important for us to let the survivors know that we're here and we're listening and we want to do something about it. Divine Nicholas, who participated in the march, explains the different ways sexual violence can happen. Child molestation, rape. Um, incest, all of these things are sexual assault. So we know and understand that no means no. We know and understand that nothing you can wear makes it okay for anyone to abuse you, and we need to believe survivors. The march ended in front of the courthouse with a candlelight vigil for the former head of the St. Landry Evangel and Sexual Assault Center who did die last year. Reporting in Opelousas, Britt LaFosso, Caleb Wine, News 10.